BoxingBoys.com live with the one and only John Iceman Scully. Iceman, what's going on? What brings you to the Barclays Center? Hey, man. Great fight. Yeah. I'm here for the great fight. Okay. Well, speaking of great fights, obviously, uh, if I asked you your prediction on this, I wouldn't be able to upload it in time. So what I do want is your trainer's perspective on this huge fight where we have the American crossing over to the pond, going to face the champion, the IBF champion, Kell Brook in the 147-pound division. What do you think of that fight? How good is Earl Spence? Because both trainers, Engel and Derek James, have made a lot of hoopla discrediting both a fighters, opponents on the way up. So what do you think about this fight? How good is Earl? Uh, because some are saying 50-50, so that means that Earl is probably as good as everyone is saying because Brooke is a proven champion at this right. point. I believe Errol Spence is very, very good, and I think he's abnormally strong for the weight. But I'm going to tell you something that I thought about, and I've heard no one else mention this. This is going to be the, the telltale, this is the most important aspect of this fight. When I saw pictures, when, like a week before the fight with Triple G, Kell Brook was so strong looking and so big. And I was saying, wow, you know, he, he may not get out muscled as easily as we thought. You know, he really packed it on. Now he's got to take it off. Is he going to take it off the right way? Many guys have put on weight very well. Roy Jones being the most obvious case. He put it on very well, took it off not well. And it ruined his career. He's never been the same since. Kell Brook, how is he going to lose all that muscle in the time frame that he has and still be super effective? Like he's going to need to be against a guy who, against Errol, who I think is, again, abnormally strong for the weight class. So if he doesn't, if, if Brook doesn't lose that muscle, he's not losing weight, he's losing muscle. If he doesn't do that properly, I think he's going to be in a, a big trouble. Being as though that is enemy territory, is Earl Spence going to need a knockout? Even though he fights in that style and he's been basically getting his uh, fighters out of there, is he going to need it in the United Kingdom? I Sheffield, think, actually, the I very so. hometown of right, Brooke. right, right. I think so. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's just the way boxing is. But uh, they're they're smart people. You know, Derek James is trainer, smart guy. They they wouldn't take the fight unless they felt that they could do it. You know, and they they believe in Arrow. I mean, he's he's strong. Nobody can deny that. You know, maybe he hasn't been super super tested yet but he's strong all right last question Kelbrook makes the weight a hundred percent he's a hundred percent going up and going down it didn't affect him at all Earl he's a hundred percent what is it gonna take for either man to get the win um you know Errol's gonna just have to do what he does he's gonna have to go to that body and be physically strong and establish himself and one thing he has going for himself is that he's very young Ment you know, maybe mentally and physically and just career-wise. So he's got that young man's vigor, which I think will help him a great deal in this fight if he, as long as he controls it. Um, you know, and, and Brooke is, 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 you know, is, is, is good with the movement and he punches off with good angles. I think it's going to be a tough fight for both guys. Arrow is going to, you know, he's, he's stepping up. He's stepping up in a big way. Um, I don't know who I'm gonna bet on, to be honest with you, just because of the intangibles. If, if Errol is as good as he looks, and if he transitions to that level, I, th I think I would bet on him. 